Hey there, my good friends. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, and I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock, hard rock, heavy metal, other forms of rock music. And tonight it's my Friday Night Live experience, and it'll be other forms of rock music. So it was between this and another album. I had a couple that I was looking at, and I decided I decided on this one because first I think I like it better and it sounds much better it's clearer it's the production's better on it so i know that this isn't a um channel that will support a lot of this kind of music but i happen to like this album quite a bit now it can be told this is devo live so it doesn't actually start out like you would expect a devo album to start out kind of um 50-ish sounding like they're not even doing their the did the, the, the devo thing they do sorry that was a bit of a stutter they're not doing the devo thing that they normally do they start out by doing a kind of a 50s version of some of the songs on the album which i quite like actually i wish they would do more of it but then they they switch into the devo mode and they do all the devo songs that you expect to be played in a devo mode but the album is quite good it's very it feels very close up what do i mean by that well i think it's a smaller audience this album was produced in 1988 i believe so it's a bit of a smaller audience smaller venue and you feel like the guys are right there in the crowd with you pretty pretty solid that way um the jocko homo it doesn't matter to me and going under uh, working in the coal mine those are all the ones I think they do them all um, like a 50-ish style then they start moving into um, more of the uh, Devo sound like girl you want and whip it and baby doll all really classic stuff that people have come to know um, and on this album it's just one CD but you'll see it's got the same kind of CD cover as the album has the same as the inside um, but uh, in um, on the albums, I think it was two. It might have been two albums, or it might have been uh, two sides. I think it was two sides. So because their songs are shorter, they're not long like you get on a lot of albums. But uh, on the second part, I I can't get no satisfaction. The Stones cover that they do, I like. Um, where is it out of feeling i like that song quite a bit on the first side it, it has uh girl you want uh whip it which are two of the more well-known devo songs um but the thing is that the drums keyboards guitar are all pretty 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 good sounding on this album um much better than the, some of the uh, devo uh, uh studio albums so i actually prefer them live a little bit goofy but um and i you know i i, were, I would thought about not doing this album because i when i in part of my uh, my favorite albums of 1980 i chose a devo album this week so i'm actually kind of doing them twice which um i don't normally like to do with bands that aren't really the style of this channel but um yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good it's um they call it de-evolution, but actually the music is kind of different than a lot of other music. It's It's got that new wave stuff down to a science here, you know. So pretty, pretty solid album. Um, and it's live, so there's a lot of interaction with the crowd. I think it's a pretty solid album. So if you're looking for something a little different than what you normally listen to, you should just give it a listen to. You can probably get it online and listen to it pretty easily. Um, I saw it um, when I was out at one of the thrift stores. There was like uh, about five or six albums there, and this was one of them. And I, I said, I, I've never had a live Devo album, so I took it. And uh, I'm pleasantly surprised with it. it. It definitely is better than I would have thought it would have been. And uh, so much so that I've listened to it now a couple times, and... I probably might even put it in my playlist. I'm thinking about it. songs kind of have to earn their way up to get in my playlist, you know. 
it's a lot in the long line, a lot lined up to go in there so anyways great album um great live performance pretty good production can't beat it it's got the, most of the stuff that you would like by devo if you like devo at all and uh, so if you like this uh, episode of uh, Friday Night Live Experience, please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And we'll be back uh, next week with another live album. And I may do the other one, but I'm not going to say what it is yet because I may change my mind. Um, I'll be out doing some shopping this week. I might find something I'd rather do. But um, until then, you have yourself a good night, and we will see you later. Bye.